Hey guys, Manny Gigante here. Are you tired of making your landlord rich? Well, thank you for joining us on this short video, but I also wanted to invite you to a first time homebuyer seminar that's being presented by myself, the Bay Area FHA guy, and John Mora in the Keller Williams office in Fremont on Saturday, January 26th from 1 to 3 p.m. If you'd like to register, please click the link right below here and you will get more details there and you will get your reserved seat Are you tired of plushing your hard to that money seminar. on the toilet month after Thank month, you and year have after a great year? Day. Well, if you're a renter, that's exactly what you're doing. As a renter, you're paying your landlord's mortgage, you're paying your landlord's property taxes, you're paying your landlord's property insurance, and you're still putting money in your landlord's pocket. Wouldn't you rather own your own home and build your own wealth? Sure you would. Let me give you two examples. Here's the first example. Behind me we have a four bedroom, three bath townhome in Hayward. This townhome recently rented for $1,700 a month. It's 1,424 square feet. So it's a pretty good size townhome for Hayward. Uh, $1,700 is a lot of money. What could that money get you if you decided to buy it? We will look at that next. Okay, behind me is example number two. This townhome which is the exact same square footage as the other townhome that I showed you that rented for $1,700 a month. This four bedroom, three bath townhome just recently sold for $145,000. So you have this two similar townhomes. One is currently renting for $1,700. One currently sold for $154,000. So what would be the monthly payments on this home? We'll find out next. Call me to my office. Okay, so obviously we're not in my office because my office was not large enough for this presentation. Um, so we're in the kitchen of my house. I got on here two charts. This one is the uh, townhome we saw that was for rent. That ran for $1,700 a month. This other chart um, is a townhome, if you purchase it, that sold for $145,000. Okay, so what's the difference between renting and buying? I'm going to show you. The first townhome, four bed and three bath, is renting for $1,700 a month. That's $1,700 that you're going to pay as a renter each month flushing that money down the toilet because all you're doing is enriching your landlord and you have nothing to show. And I'll show you how that works. So let's take a look at that rental though. You're going to rent a unit for $1,700 a month. However, you need to put down a deposit and in most cases you pay the person last month's rent. So what does that come to? Well that comes to $4,400. So you're paying your landlord $4,400 out of pocket the day you move into his rental unit and you're paying him $1,700 a month to rent his property. Okay, got that? $4,400 a month just to get into a rental. Let's take a look at the townhouse that you're going to purchase. This townhouse sold for $145,000. Now as a first time home buyer, you're qualified if you got good credit and you got a good job and you're making money, if you can pay this rental every month, you can easily buy a property. FHA loan for first time home buyers 3.5% down. What does that mean? That means for this $145,000 town home, you would have had to have a down payment of $5,075. A down payment to get a loan for this property is 
$675. That's only $675 more than what you would have had to pay a landlord the first month just to have the privilege of renting his town home. Okay? What else is there? Let's take a look at your monthly payments. A 30-year fixed rate loan at 4.%, which is doable nowadays because the government's practically given, the banks have practically given the money away. 3.5 is, is the minimum loan you can get right now. So we're using 4.0. 30-year 4.0 interest, your monthly payments is going to be $668 a month. Property taxes will be an extra $200 a month. Your homeowners association dues would be another $268 a month. Your mortgage insurance is going to be $90 a month. What does that come to? For the home that you would have bought, if you were smart, you would be paying $1,426 a month to own this town home. To rent, $1,700. To buy, $1,426. Did you get that? One more time. To rent, to buy. The same unit. To rent $1,700, you would have to pay $4,400 just for the privilege of getting into the property. To buy, 3.5% down, $5,075. Only $675 more than what you needed here. Total monthly payments to own your own property, to put the money in your own pocket, to build equity because as you buy down the loan, the value will increase and the appreciation of the property will increase. It's all money in your pocket. To own, $1,426. Let's round it up. $1,500 a month to own your property as opposed to $1,700 to rent your property. Does it take a rocket scientist to figure out buying your home is more affordable than renting your home? So you're going to say, John, I want to fire my landlord. How do I go about doing that? Well, you're in luck. My mortgage broker, Manny Giganti, and myself, we're going to be putting on a first-time home buyers workshop in January. At the end of this video will be the date that we plan on having it and the location. We will be sending out a reminder to everybody in my database and Manny's database as well about this workshop. We will discuss the whole procedure that you need to do, you need to, do to fire your landlord. To stop being a renter at $1,700 a month and to be an owner at $1,426 a month. You have any questions? Wow! That's an eye opener! I need to find out how to fire my landlord. But John, what is the downside to owning my own home? So the downside of owning your home is if the toilet plugs up, you can't call your landlord.